Hello. Um, real quick before I get into the monologue, I just want to give some context for this week's monologue. I'm going to start doing a context session at the beginning just so people know what they're watching. Um, I'm going to be doing Iago, uh, the character from Othello, the play, uh, written by William Shakespeare, the person, question mark? Probably the person. Um, and uh, Iago, what you need to know about him is he feels like he should be the second in command, but he did not get the lieutenant ship uh, from Othello, Othello, Othello being like a general of, of uh, the army in the town. Um, it takes place in a town. Also, worth noting, Othello is the only black person in the town, or the only black man in the town, and um, he's disliked. Be like, people are racist. This was written a long time ago, and people are racist. Um, I mean, still... But we can fight against it. I mean, I'm not, this is not a PSA. I'm gonna stop. Let's just go back into the context. Okay, so characters you need to know Othello, general, he's a badass, he's black, he's smart, he's honest, he's a great guy. Desdemona, his wife, listened to him when he was an outcast and loves him and their love is true and it's beautiful and I actually played Desdemona in a gender bent production of this at one point so I got a lot of love for her and then Cassio is a little bit Cassio is at the beginning of the play Othello's lieutenant um, who then by a scheme set up by Iago basically loses his lieutenant ship um, because he gets in a drunken fight because he's egged on by Iago I will be playing Iago, who is definitely the villain of the play. I usually use the word antagonist because I don't like to call people villains, but this is literally a monologue about villains and about him trying to be malicious. So, yeah, Iago's the villain of the play. He wants to lead like Othello. He wanted to be his lieutenant. He just wants power and to be lauded as smart because he's pretty smart but not for good reasons so enjoy and what's he then that says that i play the villain when this advice is free i give and an honest probe all the thinking and indeed the course to win the more again for tis most simple the inclining desdemona to subdue in any honest suit she's framed as fruitful as the free elements and then for her to win the more were to renounce his own baptism, all seals and symbols of redeemed sin. His soul is so infettered to her love that she may make, unmake, do as she list, even as her appetite shall play the god to his weak function. How am I then a villain to counsel Cassio to this parallel course directly to his good? Divinity of Hell when devils will the blackest sins put on, they do at first suggest with heavenly shows, as I do now. For whilst this honest fool plies Desdemona to repair his fortunes, and she for him pleads strongly to the more, I will pour this pestilence into his ear, that she repeals him for her body's lust, and by how much she strives to do him good. She will undo her credit with the more. Thus, I will turn her virtue into pitch, and out of her own goodness make the net that shall enmesh them all. <laughs> hey again. Hope you like that. Um, I'll be doing another monologue next Wednesday. I'm going to try to keep this tradition up. Uh, real quick before I go, again, play below the video i have a link i found a free version it was not a hard it was not hard to find a free version of othello they're they're out there it's way past public use um i want to thank caitlin dewar she helped me figure out my new setup and i'd also like to thank my little sister olivia who texted me this morning in all caps saying it's monologue wednesday um really really helped me do this i mean i would have done it anyway but it got me excited. So thank you to everyone who's watching this and please, again, stay safe.